What's up everyone? If you are configuring the Cisco MetaKit dashboard first time and you want to add the new access point into your dashboard, so how to do it? That I will show you in this video. So let's start. So if you want to add the new access point in your organization dashboard then you have to log in into your dashboard by using your username and the password go into this wireless tab click on access point okay after click on it here you can see the add ap button is available so click on the add ap so if you have purchased the license contract for, from the uh, Meraki then you can add the multiple access point by add the uh, contract number and you can also add the one, one or more than one access point by add the serial number at one time. So click here on the claiming on claim you can also click here claim and here you can see enter one or more serial or order numbers one per row. So here once you enter the whatever the order number you have got from the Cisco Meraki that you have to enter here and once you enter it then click on the claim button. So automatically you will get the all the AP list here in this tab. Okay. But this is not enough. Once you will enter that access, uh, once you will add this AP into this dashboard then what you have to do. Let me show you. So these are the some uh, steps you have to follow. The first step is you have to add the AP in dashboard that I have showed you, shown you. Now, uh, the second step, step is uh, whatever the MAC address available of that AP that you will get from the dashboard only. Let me show you from where you will get it. Here. You will get the all the MAC address of uh, entire access point from here. So you just have to uh, take this MAC address and you have to do the DHCP MAC binding. And uh, the third step is uh, connect the LAN cable and configure the switch port with it VLAN. So this is the back side of the access point. You can see the RJ40 by port is available. So connect one switch port LAN cable here and add that switch port into the specific VLAN which you have done the MAC binding into the DHCP server. So first step is add the access point into dashboard. Second step is in DHCP server you have to do the MAC binding. Third step you have to add the VLAN, uh, VLAN uh, switch port into the specific VLAN and connect it uh, uh, with the Cisco Meraki AP. And the fourth and the last uh, step is uh, once means uh, uh, you also uh, provide the access to this uh, LAN port, the internet access is also required when uh, the first time you are connecting the access point in your network. So uh, means when you are connecting the access point first time, so must you have configured that switch port can access the internet. So this access point will uh, send the traffic to Meraki dashboard and from the Meraki dashboard it will register first time and then after uh, if the internet access will not available then it will be fine but first time the internet access must be required. So which type of firewall rule uh, you have to open and which ports are need to require to open from firewall side that list also uh, Cisco Meraki has given on their website on documentation.meraki.com you will get the port detail addresses and ports to allow okay so if you have the access point camera mx security appliances phone switches so according to uh, the description and the, your requirement you have to open the ports these are the destination port and these are the source ip so the source ip will be the ip address which you have registered into the dhcp server and the destination will be this this ip and these are the port number protocol and uh, this is the description of it so guys uh, these are the four steps you have to follow when you are first time add your access point into the cisco meraki dashboard so thank you very much for watching this video